into Surge. TK definitely having a strong Surge game, as we saw in that earlier Envy game that I keep going back to. It's just this morning, so they're coming off hot on it, but that went to around 11 in Game 5, so you know they are pretty heated up, I think, in that s and game type, but we're going to see what happens with EGS right here. We're going into Dom, though, right now for Game 4, Sovereign. Let's see what happens right here. Mokilla, great kill right there, and pushing it up. And he was trying to overextend. Yeah. That way he could go... You know, put a pressure on that C flag, but he wasn't able to get it. And it's next picking up one kill, three down all of a sudden for the Eagle Slayers. Yeah, he was playing it aggressive right there, got taken down, but the B cap is going to come out for TK right there off the initiation, and you're going to see them start breaking away. Great positioning coming out by these guys, and uh, they're going to want to lock these kills down. Sharp picking it up right there, taking next off the B, but it was captured. There was two more on that B site. Sharp now moving in on it, and he's got one coming right around that right corner. Hasn't engaged yet, possibly waiting for him to cap. Gah. B is now locked down, though. Didn't have time to engage and got taken down. So now it's CB gap. Theory getting great defensive kill right there. But it was a two-on-one, so he did lose the engagement. Clay right there to clean it up, though, with that AR long-range play. Trying to go for a wall bang on B. Take him off it. And that's exactly what he needs to do. But now he's going to yep. push in. A little dangerous for him just because he has the sub. And see, he gets taken out by the sub. It's Mochilla. He goes down as well. So we're just slaying back and forth. 19-19 game this far. Perfectly even already. And uh, you know what? We saw him starting to pull away a little bit, but EGS coming back and hold a minute. Yeah, let's see what they can do. But Theory right now, he's overextending or OEing, as they say. Yeah. And he's going to be getting this A. He's oh, going to neutralize it, and then he's going to sit back and wait for somebody to take it. But right now, his B flag is going to... The Eagle Slayer. Yeah, they lost the B flag, but look at this completely uncontested A cap right now. One trying to head over on EGS to pull the oh! A back, but Mokilla, huge knife right there. Gotta love all those coming out. And uh, look at this, still maintaining an AC cap by TK. Not something that's very common on, on Sovereign, especially. Uh, well, I've seen teams actually win doing this. Because yeah. What happens is you start spawning out in, like, in the middle of the map, and it's easy to get picks. And see right there, all four down for a momentarily let's go ahead and watch theory on tk he's six and three has those three caps do it all the way oh and goodness. he gets a stop too. oh my Shanky goodness very much <laughs> yeah absolutely look at this a two on two right now a couple players going down on tk but let's stick with them for a while to see what they're doing they are starting to pull away on this winning their gunfights and as you were mentioning you if you're trying to lock down an ac the only way you can do that is if you win all of your gunfights and that's what we've seen coming out from these guys and uh, Stay slightly positive here, but falling in on Neslo right here. We do have an A contested over by GS, uh, excuse me, EGS, and not taken off it yet. He actually picked up the kill. That's going to be Machilla locking down the AC cap, and now they're going to try and pull this same thing off, keeping two players at both sides right now. Machilla actually pulling up on the right. Oh, oh huge jump shot right there. Quick reaction times. Unbelievable. Oh. But coming up the steps, gets taken off of B. That was a hugely aggressive play, though. He's not staying back on A and just staying with it. He wanted to go for a three cap and start getting some points on the board and take a lead themselves. Now they have brought it back down to a four-point game. This E-Girl Slayer squad showing that they're not going to go away easily. Yeah. They're only down by one map against the giant that is TK. But it's Theory holding down that B-spawn. And he is going to get into a gunfight. He does take them out. Let's go ahead. I want to switch back over to somebody on E-Girl Slayers. Next, he's in the back. Let's see what Burns Off is doing. He's See, they're just trying to get position. Look at this. He's just looking over the C-spawn, but they knew he was there. Yeah, that was a good play, but it was two-on-one for him. So as soon as he got some shots out, didn't end up working for him. TK had the CB right there, about to lose B with now three players on that. That's going to be a quick cap, turned it around. Now EGS starting to get the lead here, as you see for the first time in this matchup, I believe, but uh, is starting to get it with a two-point lead. Next, great defensive play with that SMG. And moving up, he had some cover from the AR in the back. And now moving so aggressively right on into C, but take it down for it and now burns off gets set down as well all four up for tk three down for e-girl slayer so we'll see if they can bring it back a little bit they're down by six now when they were up by 10 yeah. earlier yeah now 
Theory's gonna try and go for this B cap and start getting some points back. Only 20 seconds left on this first round. They gotta get anything they can. Now a seven point game, at least bringing it back a bit, but it looks like it is next. That was hopping on B, trying to shut him down. Some nades going down, but look at that. The trophy system's gonna be countering it. Great positioning, but he got taken down. Very, very close Mocha! game that's gonna be coming into round number two. He just got that two piece right there. That could have saved a couple points. Yeah. But right there, 83 to 76. That's a seven point game. Yep. Just like the first domination, as a matter of fact. And that actually went to E Girl Slayer. Uh, so. Coming out this time again, the exact same thing, although in the second round, TK managed to come back and went strong on that first one on Octane. And that was just a matchup of positioning and, and strategy. And you saw there, it, Mochilla, the only person going positive on his team, 18 and 13, went on TK. Almost all of them, besides Sharp, went positive. Well, actually, Neslo was 12 and 13. Yeah, Clay but, actually went 18 and 9 in that oh matchup as goodness. well, but still losing it and not being able to take the lead going into round two. So that tells you right there, KD isn't everything in domination. you got to be able to keep your defenses. But at the same time, if you're matching that and getting every capture right after, you can come out with a lead. And, man, what a matchup. Have we have, uh, this is amazing. Like, I love yeah. casting this. Oh, These yeah. are two great teams that have players that are smart and know how to play the game and know how to kill. But we'll see what they can do on the other side. This is going to be an interesting one. Dropping it back down, guys. And do keep in mind, this is a matchup once again. E-Girl Slayer knocked K TK into the loser's bracket. So coming out, I think TK is going to want some revenge. And as you see, they are up two games in this. So if TK locks down this domination, they're going to prevent that next game. Who, who do you think is the key player? Let's start off with them and see how they perform out. Like, what they do right off the bat. Okay, TK down by seven points right now, but Clay went out super strong, doubling at his deaths right there. So I think we should start out with him and see what he's doing so well to keep this defensive play. I, you know, I, I'm thinking he's going to try and push around and maintain one site. That's what he's been doing really strong, but you're going to need to see them push on the objective for B strong. And you see one heading right up on the middle right there. Clay getting this great site right here. He's going to close it down, but nobody on EGS moving over there. Some contestation going down on B, though. Some shots down range. As you see, a couple pulling over. Clay playing his role perfectly. Oh, but taken down. They did get the B cap, though. So TK starting to oh, get some points on the board. Sharp. And Sharp coming out huge. Oh, Sharp. Five and oh, he goes five and one. Those were big kills. They were able to get B. And look at the shank by Theory. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's Sharp coming out 5-1, as you mentioned. Huge for that. We saw it on screen. Keeping that B-Dom locked down and making them respawn. Forcing them back into their base. Sharp oh, coming sharp, in. Another Huge two for piece. another two-piece. Keeping them off of B. Gave him time to get his teammates up on B, but uh, taken down. I believe that was Clay coming in on his six, trying to help him out. But let's switch it over to E-Girl Slayer now. Falling in with Revan. They're trying to go for the AC, but there to answer back. Getting the kill. Back over to TK. Let's see if they can do anything. Switch it back over to Theory. Now he's running with that SMG. He wants to play it aggressive. He's got Neslo right up there. They just lost B. Theory trying to push in right here. Lost the gunfight as he was coming off of that sprint. The other player already ADS. Neslo a huge jump shot right there on the player waiting to get that pick. So good move by Neslo now maintaining and keeping them trapped in their spawn. Well, Mochilla, he's the last one up for a second, but he's going to have to go into B. He gets one player not able to connect on the second, and so it is TK taking B over again. They have a six-point lead. Yeah, TK, six-point lead, so they're only down by one right now, and that just changed now up by one. TK coming back strong in round two. This is what we saw them do in the first game All on Octane. Down. All four down going on, uh, on EGS right there, and that's going to be huge, giving TK an opportunity to get in position position and lock them into their spawn as you see Revan down now as long as they can maintain these kills Burns going down they took down Neslo but look at Clay pushing in aggressively and going for the three cap maintaining and getting even a larger lead going into this one and he only had five bullets left yes. able to clean them up with the end and now we see two players from TK to go down theory is going to have to pick it up as the A their A flag is they're going to have to bring it back it was neutralized Theory is going to have to go make sure that the B flag isn't being contested, but he does pick up a kill right there. Six and five. Make that seven and five as he picks up one more. And TK playing a solid game up 17 now. Yeah, now we're seeing the slang come into an advantage. 
They're, they're, they're slay, slaying, excuse me, their kills are coming out on the defense as well, though, which is taking them off of the objectives. Look at the score. Clay, 11-3 and three right now. All of their players having caps, so they're playing it aggressive. It's getting them the defensive kills, and they're winning the offensive ones to get them on the objective. Clay still playing it so aggressive, though, heading over to C. We see A contested, though, and that goes over to, uh, to uh, EGS. Huge kill by Clay right there, though, maintaining the C. And three down for the E-Girl Slayers. Next was the only one up. Let's go ahead and switch over to one of the E-Girl Slayers. Let's watch Revan. Is he's going to be working this top control? He's going to have to drop down, get a kill. Oh, let's see. Oh, he is going to pick yes. up one kill. But now he's being contested from across the map. Yeah, and uh, just getting out of there was a great move right there. Pushing back over to B. Trying to play it aggressive, but he's got a teammate over there as well. Switching over to Mochilla. Trying to get an engagement there, but on a two-on-one. Taking off of the B right there. And uh, switching back over to TK. Let's stick on with TK right now. Look at the lead. They have over 20 point lead and uh, they were only down by seven going into the first so we're seeing a rematch or uh, the same thing coming out from that first dom game and notice that tk is just stepping it up everybody is positive on tk when on the other side it's mochilla the only one doing the work and they're continually putting pressure on the the spawns but right now they just lost c so it is the eagle slayer that have that ac split eagle slayer needs to win this to stay in it. If they're going to be knocked out by TK if they can't anything right, get anything right now. Need the triple cap. And look at that falling on E-Girl Slayers. They're about to get it. They got the AP, but they lost the C. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. It's game. That it's is game. going to be game. TK is going on. Whew, knocking the E-Girl Slayer oh. out. An epic matchup, though. Revan trying to come out strong for C right there. And uh, just mathematically not going to work out for E-Girl Slayer right now. They did take that one on S&D, but couldn't answer back for that second domination game type. Took the first round, though. Yeah. Couldn't close it in the second. TK has been cruising through this loser's bracket, but the E-Girl Slayers cruised through as well. They were actually the, the players that well, sent them... Exactly. The, yeah. And, oh, man. And knocking them into the loser's bracket was TK. So TK taking them out of the entire tournament. They're oh, like, yeah. you know, we're now we're in losers. It's okay. We can deal with that. You're getting out of the entire game and yes. out of the entire tournament. And that's exactly what you saw him do. Uh, some handshakes going down. Good sports. And uh, TK managing to close that one out. 3-1, uh, too. That, uh, that was just insane. It and didn't. Yeah, so anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be coming back uh, to, or uh, actually, to we're A stream. Done. Excuse me. Go this is it for B stream. This is it. So we're going to be signing it out. My name is Stonemount64. Be sure to hit me up on Twitter, Stonemount64. And of course, Smiting Fatty. I'm Smiting Fatty. Hashtag Elgato20K. Go over yep. to A stream. Let us know what you think. You're going to be seeing TK up there as well as Complexity. And I don't know what the match Ooh. going on next is. But either way, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So stick around, guys.